Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we'll see how we can upgrade HP ProBook 440G7 RAM and storage. I already have an NVMe drive of 512GB, so I'm just gonna add an additional SSD to the port, or no, to the additional port we have in the laptop. And also we have a second slot where we can accommodate another 16GB of RAM. So I'm gonna do that. If you look at my current system, it has only 16GB of memory. I just want to show you how it looks before uh, we upgrade it. So let's go and upgrade it. For this upgrade, I'm using Crucial RAM 16 GB. It's a DDR4 RAM. Uh, it's a cheap and best RAM that I could find from Amazon. So I just bought this one. And also for the storage, I got the same brand, BX500 of 1 TB. So that'll be much, um, you know, it, I saw that this could be a cheap and best option I could find. So I bought it from the same brand. Um, let's go and fix this into our laptop. Let's open the back of the laptop. And then uh, you can find the spot for the RAM. So that's the spot I'm showing a DDR4. You can you have an additional spot and then this is part we're going to insert the um, SSD. Let's insert the RAM. So once you open it, you see there is a sticker on top of this. So this way you cannot insert it because it does not match the RAM slot right there because it doesn't match the hole um, right there, right? So you just have to flip it around and then just match the hole right there and then just insert it. It should just match the slot right there and then um, it should get arranged right there. So you see there and you should not see the gold plate outside so you just insert it and then once you see that it's nicely fit inside just press it down and you will hear a clicking sound and that makes sure that the ram is fitted inside without any issue right and you can also make sure that you are doing it right just making sure making it uh, close and after that let me take the hard drive and inside and put it inside the port right we have and the R drive is very simple. You just have to um, match the similar way uh, then the pins, which are right there. And put the pins on, so you see there, just have to put in the pins right there and then just keep it inside that. So you can also have a, a tape or something. So you see there, the pins just have to match the hard drive pins. So that's it. So you just have to put it right there. Oh, that's it and then keep it inside that. I don't have any strip or anything, I'm just doing it at home, so nothing with me, so I'm just keeping it inside. You can also wrap it around with a tape or you can put, um, you can get a strap around, okay? And that's it, you just have to uh, close it with the, uh, you can just put, it, put the back on and switch it on, let's see how it is working. After we switch on for the first time, you will see an error that it has found an additional memory, right? Just press enter and go into the BIOS and just uh, save the settings and then close this window. That's it. So you will not be able to use your keyboard, just use your mouse pad to do those things, right? Just click and save and exit at the end. That's it. Once you do this, the machine should boot up without any issue. So I have uh, started the machine. And you can see that the PC properties show that it is 32 GB of memory, but it is successful though. The memory has been upgraded to 32 GB. So at this point, as it is not showing any, you know, showing the new uh, SSD right here, just go to properties and uh, check for storage. 
storage settings then come here to advanced storage settings then go to storage spaces or disk volumes and then here if you see here this is not initialized just click on initialize it's, it's not a master boot it's just gonna be a partition just click on that and then create a volume and you can either create i'm just gonna create it as a uh, e-drive I'm gonna store all my YouTube so I'm just name it like this and then leave it here and then I'm gonna divide it by two I'm just gonna give 500 okay so that it's gonna store 500 GB right and don't have to mount anything okay just format and there you go we have the new one label is not coming there yeah right there it's coming let's go back and have the rest create volume create I'm just gonna say okay I'm just gonna have the same drive and then let's have the thing and just go format and there we go we should see the new one coming up Everything is good, it's healthy. Okay, now let's go me go back here. You see here. You see the new drives added to your system and both your RAM and the capacity of your storage has been increased. So we have upgraded both. Thanks for watching the video. We will see another interesting video. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified. Thank you.